I'm David here at Lark in the Morning, and I'm going to talk about our pocket clarinet. Now, the pocket clarinet is a sort of modern version of an ancient instrument, uh, the Chalamu, which is the grandfather of the modern orchestral clarinet, and it's still the name used for the lowest pitched register on the instrument. Well, the uh, Chalamu was a small instrument, uh, looked a lot like a, a recorder, except it had a reed on it, a uh, single reed in this case. Uh, that was tied to the instrument, and that's what produces the sound, and that's the basis of the single reed instruments that we know today, um, double reeds being an older design. So basically, um, the Chalamu had a very limited range at first, only an uh, octave and a note or so, which is about what the range of this is. As time went on, people added a few finger keys here and there and a little more extension work here until the instrument was able to fill out a whole scale and overblow. And that was really the birth of the modern clarinet. Another instrument that this was similar to was an invention in the 1920s called the hot fountain pen, or the goofus. What it was, was a small instrument with a clarinet mouthpiece on it that played a limited range. And so either way, uh, you have an instrument that's very portable, but with a lot more limitations in, in what the uh, number of notes you can get on it. An orchestral clarinet is a very wide-ranging instrument. has at least a four-octave range plus, depending upon how good you are on the high notes. This particular instrument only has the range of a, a bagpipe chanter, an octave plus one note. In this case, C to C plus a D. It does not record her fingering, which is what I was trying to do there. have a little bit of chromatic options similar to uh, recorder playing. You can see a close-up down here, these bottom tone holes. The two lowest holes are doubled. The other ones are all single. And the double holes allow you to be able to do this. You get C, C sharp, D, and D sharp or E flat. <laughs> This full chromatic range. Uh, they use basic modern clarinet reeds, B flat clarinet reed, and a B flat clarinet mouthpiece. They do come with one, although um, if any of you are uh, professional or intermediate clarinet players, you may have an older mouthpiece that you're not using right now as your main one laying around. You may try that on this and find you may like it a bit better. Uh, these are good mouthpieces, but as you know, uh, in the clarinet and woodwind world, very few people wind up playing the in, uh, woodwind instruments with the original factory mouthpieces. Um, ligature is basically as standard, comes with the reed cap. Uh, care would be very similar to other wooden instruments like a recorder. You'd want to oil the bore. This particular one's made out of ebony. Uh, uh, you'd want to also give it a break-in period where you wouldn't play it for uh, more than 15 minutes or so a day for the first week. Make sure you're cleaning it out each time, adding 15 minutes each week until you're playing it about an hour a day. And then at that point you pretty much can uh, uh, just play it at will, always wiping it out uh, after every playing session. Okay, I'm going to play a tiny bit more on it and thank you very much. <laughs>